Alright. <clears throat> Hello. Welcome to my channel. I'm Dyer Muskrat. And uh, today I wanted to check out a new game that just uh, came up on Xbox Game Pass. Uh, looks like it is called The Last Case of Benedict Fox. So um, I just want to check out the, the trailer here real quick and then uh, we'll go from there. Get this pulled up real quick and here we go. Alright, let's check out what this game's all about. Anyone here? Only anguish fills this residence, Benedict. I got a bad feeling about this. Since I found the first piece, there must be more. Alright, so it looks like it's gonna be a platformer game. That's him. My father. I can guide you through his memories. I really love kind of the, uh, it is good the 3D to see aspect they have of the devil. environment. It goes like really far out there except for like, yeah, just a two dimensional thing. Hold to interact. Vibration, brightness, contrast, saturation. Alright, let's see. Let's just use a controller for this one. Plot twist. The Last Case of Benedict Fox. Alright, let's go ahead and get the... Make sure the settings are all good. I'm going... Okay, there is that. Let's audio. Audio seems fine. Put everything on high, sharpness, brightness, contrast, saturation. Alright, let's see. Controller layout, so second tentacle. Hmm, interesting. Wanna wonder what that's all about. Aim. Aim and block shoulders. Uh, companion. Use item. Attack, heavy attack, jump, climb, dodge. Alright, pretty, pretty simple. So let's just go ahead and get a new game started. Let's see. This is a. I, I want to see what this. Uh, I want to customize where the challenge lies. It's, oh, okay. So I want the combat. You can have a relaxing combat, default combat, or challenging. Ooh. Optional. All enemies kill Benedict with one hit. So they got a hard mode built into this. Now they have relaxing where optional is immortality. I think. Uh, I think I'll do challenging without the one hit, just to, just to see how it is. If it's too crazy, I'll uh, just lower the settings a bit. Let's see, game difficulty 2 out of 3. In, Metro, in Metroidvanias, I wonder what a Metroidvania is. I hate feeling lost. Detailed markers on the map. The player is visible on the map. Area completion statistics. Default is markers on the map, player visible on the map, area completion. I love exploring, no markers on the map. The player is not visible on the map and no area. Ah, uh, I don't really I don't really like the ha not having a map. It just kind of adds a I think an unnecessary level of difficulty. Uh, we'll just go 
go with default. Alright, so I am not interested in solving puzzles or Benedict Fox as a default. So all puzzles has a, have a solve option that automatically solves a puzzle. And all of its requirements have been met. Eh, it's kind of cheater mode, I think. No hints, only honest day of detective work. Let's let's be a detective. It's the whole point of the game, I think, you know. Be that detective. Alright. Warning, this game explores sensitive subjects, which some may find difficult. Uh, let's just see. So, this game contains depictions which could be interpreted as suicide and psychological abuse, so... Fair warning. I'm, I'm happy that they kind of do that, you know. For those who are a little more sensitive to those uh, subjects. That's, that's good to see at the very beginning of the game. After the end of the Great War, it came to light that atrocities were being committed, not only on the battlefields, but also beyond them, in secret workrooms of the First Circle. Just turn it down just a little bit. To try and stop the vile endeavor, Ordo Day came to being. Its purpose was to restrict unauthorized research, experimentation, and exploration of the void. Not all, however, are willing to be controlled. It's kind of cool. Kind of has that, like, um, L.A. Noir feel. This is where it starts. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Oh, we've got an enemy here. Let's see how. So our right bunker to parry. Okay. X to attack. All right. Hold to perform heavy attack. Successful melee attacks recharge your flare gun. Right stick back to dodge. Left bunker to aim. Okay, so you got a gun too. Woo -wee! It's a powerful gun. <laughs> I like that. Alright, so let's just get a hold of this. So you got you kind of have a, a small jump. You hold it down for a bigger jump. So, so you got your knife attack. I wonder, do you have. Uh, looks like you don't have. I wonder if it's like a combo thing where you have to charge up your gun or something. Just got block. You got your your skip. Okay. So tap A to jump. Tap hold A to jump higher. So let's just hold. Nope. So kind of have a parry. Let's see if I can get a. Oh. Oh god. <laughs> that was that was quicker than I expected. Alright. Let us try that again while I get a, a hang of these controls. Alright, let's see here. Oof. Okay, got him that time. These or if there's any uh Okay. I like the three-dimensional aspect of it. Yeah, so it looks like it, the gun kind of charges up, so... Press and hold A to climb onto ledges, alright. Easy enough. When low on health, with Miracle Water selected, hold up arrow to fully heal over time. So... Hold to heal over time. Alright. 
have some parkour action going on. What does that say? Whenever the indicator is visible, press A again to double jump out. Okay, okay, so there's a double jump too. Sweet. Right, let's double jump. Oh. Whenever. Press A again to double jump. Okay. I see what it's trying to get, get me to do. Double jumping requires amplification. Okay. So that was the tutorial. I know where my father lives. Do you have anything for me? Not at the moment. I need to ask you to do me another favor. Can you get me another amplificator? I damaged this one while trying to escape. Uh, I'll see what I can do. 29 Kimberly Way, Boston. Meet me there. So we are here, I guess. Let's see. Where is my character? Interesting. <laughs> I don't think this is what it was intended. I might have to restart real quick. Because I think I'm supposed to have a character game. Or a character. Let's see. These runes look like the ancient writing of the Old Ones. This could be a it's... fragment of what I'm seeking. The forgotten ritual. ritual. We're close. Don't let your fright hold you back now. Since I found the first piece, there must be more. There must be more. <clears throat> so, torn page. A mind is formed by consuming the word. One must be cautious not to misshape it by accident. Every letter imprints itself subtly onto the reader's sanity. Untrained mind might not even notice it. I might be able to reverse engineer the ritual and find a way to set myself free of the companion. Ooh, the companion. Oh, there's my character. Alright, so we won't have to restart. So, I can turn on the radio. Oh, this is definitely going to be a, a puzzle, I can tell. Let's see, so rotate right. Volume over on the right. There we go. So it looks like there's only. Ooh. leave it on there for now. I'm sure that'll come back into play. Actually, you know, it's, a, it's a little loud. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll lower it down a bit. Alright, that's good. Let's see here. James's study. So let's go ahead and look in the drawer. Ooh, another puzzle, huh? Interesting. I wonder if, uh, where's that page at? Let's see, pouch. So it looked like there was some, uh, there's definitely some, some characters on here. I wonder if, I wonder how we're gonna decipher this. Let's, uh, let's keep looking around. So we know the desk has something, wallet. Let's check the wallets. Some items might have more to inspect. Rotate the item with left to focus on. Ah, okay, so there's a... Let's see. Inspect. So 
so that there's a key in the wallet. So let's go ahead and take that. So my father's leather wallet smells like a father figure. Oddly enough, it has an Inquisitor's card inside. This can't be good. Interesting. Got some cash. Let's see. Card capital. Boston, Massachusetts. Tomas de Fernandez. Interesting. Got some coins in there. Who keeps coins in their wallet? Jesus. There's a, some kind of symbol there. So we'll take the wallet too. Just in case that symbol uh, adds something. You can always go back to the pouch by selecting the Investigate the item. Oh, okay, so there's another symbol here. Let's see. Let's zoom. Set. Can't really do anything with it right, right now. I think maybe that'll be something later on. Let's see here. Let's go check out. This, let's see, what is this? Okay, so that's going upstairs. Let's uh, check out this stuff first. So, Sh Shellac Record. Shellac. The Plot Twist Band Record. Okay. Beyond the Wall of Sleep. Jazz Quintet. That's pretty cool. Plot Twist Band. A month or two ago, nobody heard about them. Soon there will be few who have not. So they're, they're an up-and-comer, huh? So let's go ahead and take that. I wonder if we can uh, play their record. Select record. Let's see what this place, this thing is all about. I'm sure that'll come to play as well. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go explore a little bit more, though. So let's see. Photograph. This must be the woman my father loves. The embers of love are buried beneath the ash. Beautiful, with a certain sadness to her eyes. This is how I always imagined my mother looked like. Oh, so I guess that's his mom. Ooh, what does this say? Photograph added to the inventory. Let's, just, let's see what that said. So that. Let's see. I send you my picture, but if you don't like it, I'm sure I don't care. Okay. Interesting. Alright, let's see. What is now let's let's check out what we've got in our inventory. So we got our, our bayonets. Let's see files. No matter how deep you dig into a person's life, no matter how much evidence you gather, you may but scratch the surface and never fully reveal the secrets nestled within. It led me to my father and closer to the answers. Let's check this out. Is there anything? Fox Benedict. So there's not too many uh, secrets hidden on this one. Probably, probably have to read that later. Bits and pieces. Like the dew in the morning, memories and feelings gently rest upon the earthly possessions, tempting to demons and looters alike. There is a world where no thing is more valuable. Alright. Not exactly sure. There's a little skeleton in there. Interesting. So picture Cuba symbol. Alright, so this has an kind of like a an L on it. Like a backwards L or something. Interesting, okay. Um not seeing too much on there right now. Let's see, so we got got a flare gun. Okay, so that's our gun. Miracle water. Damaged amplificator. A wondrous device that helps me safely reach for companion's abilities. Home to a voidling, a creature that's neither here nor there. A fragile link. A prototype of me. It got hit hard, 
It is barely working. Companion can block some damage, but that's it. I need a new one as soon as possible. Okay, so we're going to have to find that. We already checked that out. Checked out the wall. Okay, so that's... Let's see. Let's see the bits and pieces of memories are residual remnants of emotion gathered on surfaces of the objects found by Benedict. Each story-related item found by Benedict awards him a certain amount of bits and pieces. It is a currency used for buying and upgrading Benedict's equipment. Benedict's or bits and pieces do not get dropped when Benedict dies and remain in his possession until spent. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Let's go check out some more. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me get some water real quick. Check out what, let's go check out this door real quick. Right, so we're kind of in a, a pantry. Ooh, there's blood on the floor. I got a bad feeling about this. I'm supposed to be the one with bad feelings. Pull yourself together, Benedict. <laughs> All right. Okay, so the key with the symbol is used there. So that was the key for down here. Secret door is lost yet. I can guide you through his memories, Benedict. <laughs> Interesting. So I guess we're kind of like possessed by that, whatever that, uh, that thing is. It's kind of like a part of the character. 